Hi viewers, in this video I am going to share with you how to use Microsoft Excel for data entry and analysis of the data for a research or a study. For example, you have this tool where you have a gender, then locations, then there are questions with these options strongly agree, disagree and uh, satisfied, not satisfied, always up to some time, yes, no responses are there. So how you can develop a good database for data entry with the strong data validation rules how to do the data entry and how to go ahead with your analysis so let's go to the excel this is the excel so first of all we would need id id for the respondents then we have uh, you have a name or other column so you can add them i have used just gender and location so let's type here gender here location now this is the question so just copy it from ms word and paste it here now let's first develop these columns heads this is the next question paste them there in the columns headings and then we will apply the rules, the data validation rules and the options and how to make it easy for the data entry people to do the data entry in easy way. Now here you can see this is the next one and this is the last question. Now for the ID, I would like numbers. For the gender, let's first adjust these columns and select these column heads. Go to home and from here wrap the text so here you can see these are the now those columns where you have lot of text you can increase the width so that it's not that much lengthy one so you can decrease now select this place double click the line of the row it will be adjusted selected make it center and center now here in the gender i would like to have a drop down for male and female so that uh, there might not be any data entry issues. So here I need a simple drop down for gender. If you have a lot of drop down, so you what you can do, you can use another sheet and give it a name data source. Here I would need uh, drop downs for gender, so that those are only male and female. Now another drop down i would like for location so location in my database are only three if you have more than three so you can paste them here then i would need options for each question so you can see these are the questions so for the first question we have already developed a tool in ms world so what are the options the options are these so you can just copy and paste them there but remove these bullets points so that in excel you ha don't have these bullets copy and go to data source and here we can paste them and sorry paste them and say question one this is for the question one now for the question two we have the same so okay for question three the same option okay for question four so this is for question one to three now for question four we have these options Select them, remove the bullets, copy and paste them here. Now there is this type of question also, always after and sometime. Remove the bullets and paste them here and this is for question 5. So uh, and then there are these three type yes, no and somewhat. So we have some yes, no and somewhat type of question. And then we have a rating question also, which is simply 1 to 10. So let's do it later. Now this is the data source for us. Okay, complete one. Now in the DB, we will use the drop down. So we will use this data source not only in the database, we will use this in the analysis sheet also in the database. In the gender I want a drop down so select all the column okay the the rows that you expect for the data for example if you have 
almost uh, 300 uh, respondents. So select 300 rows or you can select more than that. So select that area, go to data, data validation. Instead of any value, select list, click in the source, go to the data source and here I want this gender drop down. So only select the male, female without header. Okay. So you can see here we have the drop down of male and female and here someone cannot type any other thing except male and female. You can see if I try to type something else, so it gives me error. Now in the location, select the whole column, go to data validation, data validation, list, source, click in the source, go to data source and select your location. You can do it manually also. For example, if you do not want to range it, so you can do it like this also. Go to uh, data validation and here instead of selecting this, you can type A, B, C with comma. So that also okay. But if you select this range, so whenever you try to change anything here, so that would be reflected in the database also. If that is a range. Now here for this question, what are the options? Select, go to data, data validation, list, source, data source. What are the options for the first question? These. And these are the options for question 2 and 3 also. So, okay. And just copy this column now. Here you can see these options. So the similar option you want for this and this also. Copy paste paste so here also you have the same drop down now now here also you need a drop down that is different select data validation list source data source and for that we need this one this is for question 4 so select it and ok and similarly for other also you can add the data validations all those which are available to you now here, uh, this one, does X, Y, Z meet client's uh, preferences and objectives? The responses against this one are only yes and no. So if you don't want to select a range, so select it. Go to data, data validation, list and type here yes and no. If you have only these two options. Okay, so here you can see yes, no. And now for this rating one on a scale of 1 to 10, so you can select, go to data. In the data validation list go to click source go to data source and from here you can select those rating these are the rating that should be selected only 1 to 10 okay so here they would be able to select any digit you can do this in some other ways also but for that you will have to use google form or ms form and on that also i have done some video tutorial if you are uh, using an online tool in Kobo or MS Farm or Google Farm. So I have done a detailed tutorial on that also and uh, the link is given in the description so you can watch that. So this is restricted now these columns. Another most important thing is now when you start the data entry for example the first one is this. So here you can see you have male female. You have this location option you have these options here also if you want a simple interface a table for this so select these columns and here you can do one thing this is the form option in microsoft excel if it's not available here so just right click here customize the ribbon click quick access toolbar and here in the quick access toolbar you can add these forms the form option here you can see all commands go to form this is form. Just click it and add it so it will be added here in the quick access toolbar. This is the quick. So if I select this table and click form, now it says they determine which row in your list a selection contact column labels. Yes, okay. These are the columns labels that have it has already selected from here. So you can see this is a simple form. Here you can type the ID in the gender. But here you won't have those drop down. Uh, for that, you will have to develop a form in the visual basic. And on that, 
the simple ways to use Microsoft Access. For that also I have used, I have done a detailed tutorial and there is a complete playlist of Microsoft. Uh, the link of the complete playlist is given in the description. So here you can do all these data entry and after that you will have to develop an analysis sheet. So the same thing you will have to do here in the analysis sheet also you will have to bring all those questions, the options and on this one also I have just uploaded a video. The link is given in the description to how to analyze the complete data. So that video is also available. Dear viewers, we have started this YouTube channel. There are free of cost learning tutorial on if you want to learn Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Access, PowerPoint, MS Word, other learning tips. So we have detailed playlist and there are hundreds of tutorials on Microsoft Excel, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, how to design presentation, Microsoft Access, how to develop databases and manage data, online data collection, learning Google Form, Kobo, MS Forms. If you visit this channel, you can find lots of video tutorials. Kindly support us, visit the channel. For example, in MS Excel, you will find these sessions in a proper sequence. For example, in MS Excel playlist, we have this basic session and then session 2, 3, 4. So, if you start learning these sessions, so from the start, you can go ahead and you will find in a sequence sessions on Microsoft basics, data analysis, conditional format, pivot tables, use of if. Uh, concatenate formulas, dependent drop down, list validation, name managers, VLOOKUP, XLOOKUP function, F function, uh, advanced use of count, F in some Fs, how to find duplicates, tricks and tips related to Microsoft Excel, how to develop search boxes, searchable drop down list, aggregate functions, tracking performance of the projects or any other uh, analysis of research that you have conducted for example, school going and other such studies. There are session on uh, how to develop beautiful charts, attractive charts, speedometers, uh, dashboards in Microsoft Excel. Similarly, in PowerPoint also you will find how to design beautiful presentation in PowerPoint, how to do in MS Access also you will find all these session in prop sequence. Uh, the Access Tutorials playlist, here are almost 8 sessions. Uh, in session 1 you will find the basics, how to create tables, queries, forms and then you will go on with advanced options in Microsoft Access. Similarly, you will find tutorial on how to uh, collect online data, Google Form, uh, Kobo, uh, MS Form. Uh, you will find also the use of MS Word, the mail merge functions. There are session on SPSS also. So you can learn SPSS if you need to do some analysis in SPSS. There is a series on project management also, how to conduct need assessment studies. Kindly support us, visit the channel watch learn and improve your productivity thank you so much